In an upscale suburb in Riverside County, California, sheriff's deputies raid a house they suspected of growing illegal marijuana. Inside, they tell us, they find thousands of plants and four workers from mainland China who they suspect are being trafficked. And deputies say they've raided hundreds of similar grows. I would estimate that about 90% of them are operated using human trafficking labor. In our months-long investigation, we spoke with law enforcement in California, Washington State, Oregon, Arizona, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Colorado, which all report seeing suspected Chinese trafficking victims on illegal black market grows. California's Department of Cannabis Control, the state agency that licenses and regulates pot businesses, confirms to NBC News weed from illegal grows in California is making its way into the legal supply in the state, a process they call inversion, which they say is rare. Trafficked workers we spoke with tell us they were recruited online. Grad student Amy Kim translated a Mandarin language job site for us. I directly type in Dama, like marijuana. Okay, these are from Oklahoma. Oklahoma? Yeah. And it says location is good and you can happily earn money. I'll help you with selling. Oh, wow. We contacted the numbers on the websites we saw, but neither got back to us. <laughs> Attorney Wang Xiaosheng represents human trafficking victims and says many of these workers are more vulnerable than ever. Many of these people worked in the restaurant industry and lost their jobs during COVID. They'll take any kind of job that promises good pay, even if they don't know much about it. In Los Angeles, NBC producer Arnie Hakela and I met one group Wong represents, seven Chinese workers who said they were desperate for work because they had to pay back the people who got them into the U.S. All ended up finding a job on an illegal grow in New Mexico, where they were trafficked and subsequently arrested on a raid. How many of you owe money to somebody else for either bringing you to the United States or for helping you find work here? Yeah, yeah they all borrow money. Our understanding is this is happening a lot. Have you heard examples of other people having the same kind of situation and treatment? In the beginning, they had never even heard of marijuana, but now having gone through it, they know it's very far reaching. They, they know a lot of people who have been cheated the same way they have. These seven spoke out about having been trafficked, but law enforcement says the vast majority of others in similar situations won't, making this form of trafficking all the harder to end. Jacob Soboroff, NBC News, Los Angeles. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.